Hey guys, welcome to my very first uh, video tutorial on making Trickster movies. Uh, I hope you don't mind that my English is not very good. I personally personally hate my spoken English. So I try to do my best and let's go into the action. Okay, let's create a new composition and let's make it 1080p, 30 frames per second, ma, 2 minutes, 30 seconds, looks good. Okay, so basically before you do anything in After Effects, you have to make sure that your clip has been recorded in high frames per second. I'm recording my um, footage in um, 90 uh, frames per second using the X story. Uh, I tried to do that with fraps, but it uh, limited me to 60 frames per second. So now we have a sample clip up here which I recorded in um, Battlefield Bad Company 2. Let's put it in here. So we now have our footage in After Effects and we just have to stretch it a little because it has been recorded in uh, 1680 by 1050. So let's just stretch it out a little bit so it fits perfectly. Okay, now we just go straight on and don't put any music or any effects into the video we just want to make sure how to use Trickster. Okay, we just go to our effects and presets and look for Trickster. Just let, uh, let us use this basic version. Okay, now we have this control uh, area. Um, the only thing we have to change here is basically only the frame rate, which is the frame rate of the footage. The important thing here is that you really record in a high frame rate to ensure high trickster precision. Another thing you should keep in mind is that you need stable frames per second. So if you try to record at 90 frames per second and your frame rate drops to 70 or 60 and then again goes up to 80. This cannot be used properly in Twixter because Twixter needs a fixed and uh, precise frames per second rate. Okay, now we have to change the input frame rate to 90 frames per second because our footage has been recorded at 90 frames per second and what I like to change is that I use motion weight and blend and that's basically everything you have to do in the Twixter settings everything else is done by Twixter itself so now we just basically look for a point to use Twixter so now we see that I'm shooting as I usually do when starting with a um, certain weapon okay now we have to look okay I'm Re starting to reload here. So let's say, just going into the scene a little bit more, just to find a good spot. Okay, here I'm moving my hand in towards the magazine, but you see that the amount of frames or the movement itself is a little bit. Now nah, it's, I think, Twixter is not really good at this but we could try just start from here let's set a keyframe at 100% speed and go a little bit further okay here the movement is already done so let's say at that point we want 5% of speed okay now we have press U to see keyframed uh, properties so we now have this slow-mo movement when the hand actually starts going towards the magazine so you now have to really make sure you I eliminate those um, yeah, distraction look at that the hand has now a middle finger and it has two and now it has one okay strange uh, so we have to keep on the movement a little bit longer So we just Give it a little bit. Oh, that was too much this 
You see? The distraction is nearly completely gone and we have awesome movement. There is the next one. So all in all it's pretty complicated because you, well I um, basically at the new ones, the new slow motion videos, I try to um, make the video, the, the movement itself uh, in a rhythmical way like the music in the background. So this movement should be done because now you can see strange um, distraction that you stop the movement right here set another keyframe well this is the way I do go just one or two frames later set it to 100 and then go just not too far and set again to 5 so we now see that the actual normal speed movement is not long enough to make sure that the next twixter movement is a fluent movement. You see the there is nothing happening. Okay, so we now have to make this 100% uh, keyframe a little bit faster. Let's say 200. And now this movement is too fast. So let's try again. 150. And now we see that, ah, uh, not really, 160, ah, perfect, ah, uh, not really perfect, okay, and we move this 5% a little bit, nah, not, let's say 180, and now we have slightly a little bit distracted movement. But in this case you have to live with live with it. Just maybe try to make the actual movement a little bit later. This was too late. Let's move the 5% a little bit back. Not too early. Now you see this movement is really really annoying in this case. Okay, so we now basically have the slow motion itself and the rhythm rhythm point sorry that I'm trying to spell the word two times because I'm really not used to speak English normally I write English don't speak it okay now we have this done let's say you want to make this movement a little bit longer this what now uh, is coming is just a basic warning or a basic note if you run out of time, <coughs> as you see here, there is nothing left. It's going black. You go to, uh, you right click onto this um, layer, go to time, and enable time remapping. In this case, you can now drag this um, layer itself longer because the actual time of this layer is no longer um, limited by this time keyframe but by Twixter. The time remap totally gets ignored at this point. Well, for the audio, uh, for the video. The problem with syncing audio to Twixter is that Twixter does not slow down the audio. So it's really, really, really annoying to maybe ensure good audio precision within your slow motion because it's just it's just messing up I normally try this I press Control D to duplicate this layer and press uh, Control Shift D to cut it out and use this layer above as a sound layer but in this case we can just leave this layer away and press L once to make uh, to open the audio levels. Set a keyframe here, the actual movement starts and you can make it silent. If you have any music in the background you can make it a little bit louder. You can make it uh, even very dominant to, ma to uh, support your ryth rhythmical beats in your Twixter movie. 
So all in all, this is basically how I make the Twixter videos. Um, I normally use um, curves just for some um, weight curves. Let's edit just for some um, contrast changing and some. Well, it's very very handy for Battlefield uh, 3 to remove some blue. Now you have to move, uh, remove some green, but this is getting cool. If you just play a little bit around, can make nice and pretty warm notes, or you just leave it blue, just do it like you want. Okay, this was my first tutorial. I hope you like it, and I am very sorry for my pretty bad spoken English. I hope you don't mind. Um, thanks for watching and thanks for every single comment you put on my videos because I never had the time to really thank you by audio. Uh, this is Burschnard. Thanks for watching. See you soon.